Hi guys, my name is Mark Barner from MacGenie.com. I just want to teach you a really fast trick on how to install Adobe Photoshop, or in this case, Adobe Illustrator on your Mac and uh, making sure that the language is correct because I get so many annoyances when it installs the language on Danish as I work in all Adobe products in English. So watch out. Okay, moving to the computer. I actually looked into uh, Firefox here to download manually the Illustrator trial because you do have to find this. I found it on a site where I have to like wait 15 seconds to download it. The issue is if you go to Adobe and try to download this, you have to sign up with credit card and everything. And that's kind of annoying if you don't have a credit card right now or you don't want to pay after the seven days, you have to figure out how to finish that trial without paying. So it's it's kind of annoying the way they, they've done it now. Um, but you will be able to find it somewhere on the internet and when you've done that and downloaded the trial version of Illustrator, in this case, this will work with any Adobe program. Um, but if you download it and, and have the, the trial version here, now my system is in Danish language. So I'm just clicking here so you can see everything here is in Danish. And uh, if you click install now and you type in your password, uh, you can see this is in Danish as well. It says up here, it's not in English. Even when it starts installing, it's gonna show in, in uh, Danish. So I don't want that. I want Illustrator to work in English. I'm gonna quit this before it installs anything because I've already uh, actually cheated and installed it already. And the reason why this is in English, it's very clear to say, it, see it says uninstall Adobe and it doesn't say it in Danish instead. So how I've done this is actually go to your, click your Apple, click your system preferences. You'll see the blue fl flag here with the globe on it. Click that and make sure to drag English to the top. If you don't have English here, click the button and then choose the language that you want. Make sure it's primary. When you close this, it's gonna ask you to reboot. I'm not gonna say reboot right now, but you should do this. Um, but I've already done it, so I'll say don't reboot. And then now the installation application here will actually be in English. And you can see here it says installer and not it's not in Danish anymore. So uh, when I finish this installation, which I'm not gonna do either because I already installed it, I'm just gonna quit it right now, but you just let this installer finish on your computer and then you'll end up in the same situation as me, having the application installed in the correct language. Then of course you need to go back and change the language on your system. Again, choosing system preferences, clicking the region and language and region and then drag English down not to be primary anymore. This might be, I don't know, whatever language you speak, Russian or uh, Swedish or whatever makes sense to you and I'll quit this and it's gonna ask me to restart and I recommend you do this as well. I'm gonna say don't restart for now. And when I open this trial version, unfortunately my trial has ended on this test computer, but you can see it's actually writing in, ding in English, Denglish which is a combination of Danish and English, Danglish. Anyways, if you have the same issues with Adobe Photoshop, I already created a video about how to change the language on, on this application. But if you wanna change the application back to English uh, from your native language, then you can go watch this video. I've actually put the link up here in, in the information window. If you click that, you can see the video follow the steps there. It's pretty easy, actually way faster than this video. That is it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this trick, please hit the like button because that will make more people see this video. And if you enjoy videos like this, hit the subscribe and I'll show you more in the future on how to maybe work with Adobe products or something you didn't know already. MacGenie.com, I just want to teach you a very quick trick. I hope you can use this trick for something in your, please remember to, please hit the like button because then more people can get something out of it and I'll actually show up in the Google search. Um, I'll actually, and I'll actually, see you on the other side.